that is the scientific reef rationale for the LHC. The prize was given to six individuals who worked in three separate groups uh, to really thoroughly establish this uh, physics. Um, one member of those six, Peter, Professor Peter Hicks from the University of Edinburgh, unfortunately could not join us uh, due to health considerations. Uh, the second group was uh, in, involves Professor Francois Anglaire and Professor Robert Grout from the University of Geneva of Brussels. And the last group involves three individuals, uh, Professor Thomas Kibble, Professor Gerald Gorolnik, Professor Carl Hagen, Professor Kibble from Imperial College, Professor Gorolnik uh, from Brown University, yeah, Professor Hagen from yeah. the University of Rochester. I think what we'll do is go in the same order as the presentations that were in the session. So Professor Anglair will begin, then followed, I'm not going to stand up again, but followed by Professor Kibble. I will try to present our work in the context of the evolution of the physics thinking. Physics, as we know it, is an attempt to interpret the diverse natural phenomena as particular manifestation of general testable law. Starting with Galileo and Newton, this enterprise reached impressive development in the first half of the 20th century. The Newton 